Y'all probably wondering why am I rocking the shades? I'll be honest, my eyes are messed up right now. So that's why I'm rocking the shades. Let's get on with this video because this is going to be very interesting. Yeah, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. It's your boy Troy. And today's day is Tuesday, March the 1st. Say it with me, folks. Say it with me now. It's the first of the month. Okay, enough about that. Ooh, man, that didn't sound good. I'm not redoing that. So, it's a new month. We are now getting into the spring season, which means we got a new season, the season of Alola. So, as promised from my last video, we're going to talk all about this event and some more, actually. So, Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it because there's a lot to cover. Check this out. All right, so we're going to start on this page. This is PokemonGoLive.com. We got about, about, like, wait, wait, three, four, five, six things to look at. But this one right here, which was posted up first, we're going to look at last. So we're going to start off with what's going on within the month of... No, no, that's not true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go on with what's going on right now. Starting right now, the month of March. March content update, the season of Alola, March community today, new raids, and more. No mention of the word trainers anywhere, but let's move on. A new in-game season is coming to Pokemon Go, the season of Alola. Pokemon originally found in the Alola region, Gen 7, will start appearing today. And obviously there's more on the season of Alola page. We'll get over there in a second. March community today, we're gonna pass through that because we're gonna talk about that in a second. Upcoming events, welcome to Alola. Get ready to meet Pokemon first found in the Alola region from the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Again, that's Gen 7. I never beat those games, to be honest, so I am not familiar with this generation at all. This season's kickoff event will run from Tuesday, well, today, to Wednesday, March the 9th. The Festival of Colors, from Tuesday, March 15th to Sunday, March 20th, you can experience a fluttering of festive hues during the Festival of Colors. And we got the Lust Jungle event from Tuesday, March 22nd to Tuesday, March 29th. Get ready to brave the jungle during this Alola inspired adventure. The following Pokemon will be appearing in raids throughout this month. A guardian deity of the Alola region, the legendary Pokemon Tapu Koko, will be making his Pokemon Go debut in five star raids this month. Already got 96% IV, by the way. So here we go. Rotating, well, raise rotations all starts to end at 10 a.m. local time on the dates listed unless otherwise noted. So today, until March 15th, that's a Tuesday, we'll get Tapu Coco. So this thing will have not one, but two raid hours. And then on Tuesday, March the 15th to Tuesday, March 22nd, the rare form Tornadus returns. And this will be the first time that its shiny form will be in the game. So it's other form, it's shiny forms in the game already, not this form until March the 15th. So keep that in mind. And then we don't know what's going on from Tuesday, March 22nd to Tuesday, April 5th. So there you go with that. Now looking at the Mega Raids, what's going on right now until March 15th is Mega Venusaur. And again, raid rotation starts to end at 10 a.m. local time, keep that in mind as well. Tuesday, March 15th to Tuesday, March 22nd is Mega Low Punny. And then Tuesday, March 22nd to Tuesday, April 5th, the homie. Mega Charizard Ride returns, and all three of those can be shiny. So again, Raid Hour will be on the Wednesday, or every, you know, every Wednesday of the March, month of March, rather, from 6 a.m., 6 p.m., oh, I'm messing up big time, to 7 p.m. local time. Again, March 2nd and March 9th, we got Tapu Koko on both those days. March 16th, that's going to be the big one, is the three form Tornadus, because that one can't be shiny. We don't know about March 23rd, and we don't know about March 30th, so there you go with that. From Monday, every Monday in March, a one-time purchase bundle containing a remote raid pass and other items will be available in the shop for one Porky coin. And now the resource breakthrough box. From now until April 1st, which is a Friday, at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's 4 p.m. Eastern, a lonely vote picks will be in the breakthrough box. And yes, that can be shiny. Now, look at that spotlight hours. We just did one today. March 1st is Cubone. And yes, that one was shiny. We got double the candy for transporting Pokemon, which was huge for me. Next week, March the 8th, you'll get Execute, where you get double the candy for evolving Pokemon. March 15th is Growlup, you will get double the Stardust for catching Pokemon. And then March 22nd, yo, where Mr. 7 at? You get Sudorudo, and you get double the can uh, XP, rather. Catch XP, that is. And then here's the big one, for me personally. March 29th, Paris Parage, you will get 
double the catch candy. So there you go with that. I would be out and about for that one, and I would be out and about for the March 15 one as well. And all five of those can be shiny, by the way. So that Paris one or Paraz, how you pronounce that? That one's gonna be the biggest one for me. I do not have that shiny at all. A new visual update will be released in March for gyms and Pokestops. These in-game locations will now be visually different depending on whether you are within 40 minutes, within 80 minutes, or out of range of the location. This change is purely visual in nature and will not impact gameplay. Please be aware of your surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. So we're gonna click out of that and now we're gonna move our way up towards, let's go to the go, no, let's go to the community day uh, fiasco. Sandshrew and the Lowland Sandshrew. So this is on Sunday, March the 13th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time. So trainers, ah, there it is. We're excited to, ooh, they messed up. That's supposed to be a lowercase w, not a uppercase w after the word trainers, but let's move on. We're excited to announce that Sandshrew and the Lowland Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon, will be featured during March Community Day. I will be at home live streaming that on Twitch, by the way, twitch.tv slash true underscore inferno. So make sure you follow me on there. So again, both Sandshrew and the Lowland Sandshrew will be appearing more frequently in the round. And yes, both their shiny forms will be in the game. They're already in the game already, and I got both of those in their evolved forms. Which is why I would be at home for this one. And there's another reason why I'd be home for this one. Evolve Sandshrew during the event or up to two hours afterward to get a Sand Slash that know the Charge Attack Night Slash. Okay. And then there's the power, but what about the damage per second? You know, the bars that tells you, well, like, is it like a one bar, two bar, three bar? It don't say that there. Moving on. A Lowland Sand Slash. Evolve a Lonely Sand Shrew during the event or up to two hours afterwards to get an Alolan Sand Slash that knows the fast attack, Shadow Claw. And of course, that's pretty impressive as well. Alolan Sand Slash is actually useful in uh, Great League, actually. So there you go with that. And then, of course, there's a Community Day special research story called Greedy and Glacial. So obviously, that's one US dollar or the equivalent pricing tier in your local currency. So there you go with that. And the tickets are no refundable for that. Now, looking at the event bonuses. One fourth egg hatch distance when eggs are placed in an incubator during the egg period. Lure modules activated during the event will last for three hours. Incense activated during the event will last for three hours. And take a few snapshots during community day for a surprise. So it was already revealed what the surprise was on Twitter, by the way. I'm not gonna say what it is for spoiler reasons, but y'all wanna look, y'all can do that yourselves. Event bundle. There will be a special one-time purchase community day bundle available for 1,280 Pokecoins Featuring 30 Ultra Balls, 3 Secret uh, Incubators, 5 Lucky Eggs, and 1 Elite Charge TM. And there will be a bundle containing 30 Ultra Balls that will be available in the shop at no cost. Be sure to pick it up during the event. And then, of course, we got the stickers. Please be aware of your surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. All right, now let's move on to more news regarding this season of Alola. So here we go right here. Again, there's no mention of the word trainers right here. With the arrival of the season of Alola come a slew of Pokemon originally discovered in the Alolan region. These Pokemon will be making their Pokemon Go debuts now. So they out now. That's, that's all I gotta say. So the Welcome to Alola event is going on from now until Wednesday, March 9th at 8 p.m. local time. So here are the Pokemon that are spawning in the route from the Alolan region. So we got Rowlet, Litten, Poplio, Pikapek, and Young Goose, which can be shiny, by the way. So yes, the debuting Pokemon we also have a shiny form in the game as well, which is really, really cool. Now, you got the Tropical Challenge where you got to collect the following Pokemon. Which, if you do, you will earn your Elite Collector Medal, 7,000 XP and 15 Ultra Balls. You're looking at Rowlet, Litten, Poplio, Pikipak, Young Goose, which again can be shiny, and Gumshoe. But you can only get Gumshoe by evolving Young Goose into Gumshoes. So there you go with that. And here's where some people got annoyed. The Raids. Looking at the One Star Raids. Every single Pokemon listed here can be shiny. Bellsprout, nope. Snowball, nope. Fanfy. So if you got that Silver Johto event ticket, yeah, you gotta pay extra to try to get that shiny Fanfy if you didn't get it during the Johto event. There you go with that. Oh, it, it gets better. Electrite, and then Rockruff, the debuting Pokemon Rockruff. You can only get that through raids. And it's shiny form will be in the game as well. But again, you can only get that through raids and through uh, one other method, which we'll get to in a second. Three star raids. There's only one sh uh, Pokemon that can be shiny in the three star raids, and that's a lonely Raichu. Obviously, a lonely Raichu, a lonely duh. 
Then, of course, we got Nidal Queen, Wigglytuff, and Alolan Grabbler. So, there you go with that. And then we got the five star raids where we talk about the five star raids and the mega raids, Tapu Koko and Mega Venusaur. Of course, Mega Venusaur can be shiny. Phil Weasel's Task. The following Pokemon will be available to encounter when you complete a Phil Weasel's Task. Piggy Pack and, of course, Young Goose, which can be shiny. Please be aware of your surroundings, blah, 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 signing Pokemon Go team. Now, let's take a look at this season of Alola as a whole. So, there's the cool graphic rap. Right? We're going to move down here. Let's look at the Pokemon. Discover and the Alola region and through the rays. And we already talked about these two right here. Through the route. We got Jangmo O. That's going to be coming soon. And Kofi is only available in Hawaii, by the way. So, that's interesting. And, of course, the evolutions. You got Dark Tricks. Uh, the suit. How you pronounce that? Deck Seek Do I, Tora Cat, Incineroar, Brione, and Primaria. I got that already. $14.99. 0 15 14 Great League. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an instant beast. I'm more of a beast with this thing. So, yeah, watch out for me. Uh, Trumbeak and Toucan. I got both of these already as well. Gumshoe, I got that already. Midday for Lincoln Rock. Midnight for Lincoln Rock. Hakama O and Como O. So there you go with that. And of course, here we go. And the eggs. Young Goose, which can be shiny. Pick a pick, Rollet, Litten, Pablio, Rock Ruff, which also can be shiny. And Jangmo. Oh, so there you go with that. Now, this food right here. Conduct resource on the island of Alone. So throughout the season, you'll be able to complete different special resource lines to learn about each of the islands in Alola. These special resource lines will be available to collect until the season ends on June 1st. If you complete them by June 1st, you will unlock a bonus special research line at the end of the season. And check this out. There's an asterisk here, so check this out. Trainers who obtain the end of season special research by completing the four special research lines will be available. Will be able to purchase the ticket in the shop for more re rewards. I don't think I'm going to do that, but whatever. Tickets for the end of season research will also be available in the shop to purchase for $4.99. For USD or the equivalent pricing tier in your local currency. Let's move on. Now we got the Melee Melee Island Special Resource, which is going on to collect from now until June 1st. So obviously that's going on March 1st. March 22nd is the Akala Island Special Research. That will come in March 22nd. And then on April 12th, Ula Ula Island Special Research will show up. And then on May 10th, Pony Island Research, Special Research that is. And then on May 25th, this is the one where you got to really crunch down, I think, in the season special re research as well. So there you go with that. Community Day, where we know what's March Community Day feature Pokemon will be, is the Sand Shrew, right, and the Alolan Sand Shrew. We don't know about April, but we do know April is, it'll be on Saturday, April 23rd. That's PAX East weekend, folks. And then, of course, in May, it'll be on May 21st. And then, of course, here are all the events. We already got one already. We don't know what's popping on March 16th, March 27th. We don't know. And, of course, we can't click on April and May at this point in time. We already talked about the Welcome to Alolan event. Go Battle League. We'll get more on that in a second. Now, different Pokemon will be appearing in the row. So, here we go in the cities. You got Alolan Rattata, which can be... Actually, all these, with the steps of the Jolteon, can be shiny. Alolan Rattata, Alolan Meow, Magnemite, Alolan Grimer, Jolteon, Makuhita, Michio, and more. We don't know what the and more is. I wish we did. In the forest, we got Paris Parage. Execute, Apom, Pineco, Electrike, Rufflet, and Young Goose. All those can be shiny and more. And then we got Mountains. We got Cubone, Alolan Diglett, Alolan Geodude, Fl Flareon, and Baltoy, Golet, and Archer, and more. Everything here except for Archer, Golet, and Flareon can be shiny. Beaches and Water. We got Alolan Executor, Staryu, and Dratini. All three of those can be shiny. And then, of course, we got Vaporeon, Tortuga, Frillis, and Corphis. They cannot be shiny. And more, wherever that is. And up here in the Northern Hemisphere, we got Lotad, Bagon, Snivy, Tepe, Asura, which all those can be shiny. Spring Dilly and Fungus and more. Those last two cannot be shiny. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're looking at Nakata, Nakata, how you really want to pronounce it. Beldum, those two can be shiny. Serato, Autumn, Dilling, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froki and more. And the other five cannot be shiny. The following Pokemon will be hatching from eggs this season. 2K eggs. We got Young Goose, uh, Pick a Pet, Chest Pen, Finnegan, Froakie, Cubone, and Ex Execute, and more. And of course, Young Goose, Cubone, and Execute can be shiny. 
5k eggs. You're looking at Rowlet, Litten, Poplio, Mantike, and then these three can be shiny. Tyro, the new one, Skarmory, and Bonsly, and more. 10k eggs. You're looking at Esper, Alomamola, and Rockruff, which those three can be shiny. In addition to that, Jangmo-O, Mianfu, Axu, and Norbat, and more. And then from the Adventure Sync Rewards, 5k eggs, you're looking at Dandene Munchlax, or as I like to pronounce it, uh, Phantom, those three can be shiny. And then, of course, we got Happini, Sheldon, and Kranidos, those three can be shiny. And then we got the 10k eggs from the Adventure Sync Rewards. Gumi is the only one listed that cannot be shiny. Everything else can be shiny. Dratini, Riolu, Bagon, Beldon, and Dino or Dino, however you want to pronounce it. And then we got the bonuses, which we're going to talk about that later. But we can, well, we're going to elaborate more on that later. Increase instance effectiveness while moving. Increase damage for Pokemon participating in raids remotely. Guaranteed gifts from Pokestop spins up to two free raid passes per day by spinning gems, photo discs, and increase uh, instance where it lasts for 90 minutes. And then, of course, we got Alolan themed avatar items. And then, of course, that's how they look forever. So, there you go with that. Now, there's one more thing we need to... Actually, that, I take that back. There's two more things we need to look at. And it's, one of them is Go Battle League. So, trainers, there it is. The next season of the Go Battle League is here. And it's a season like we never had before. As we mentioned previously, upon Season 10's conclusion, the Go Battle League will move into an interlude season. So learn more about why we're hosting an interlude season in our recent... So yeah, we'll look at that in a second, I guess. No, no, no. We're going to look at something else. Not that one. My bad. So yeah, y'all can look at that in your own time. Season 2 will be extended until Tuesday, March 1st. Well, it's over already. Immediately following that, the Go Battle League's interlude season will start from now and ends on Wednesday, June 1st at 1 p.m. PT. That's 4 p.m. Eastern. And the season rewards will be available on the battle screen. Your Go Battle League rank will be reset. Rank up requirements will remain the same as in Season 10. Rankings will cap at Rank 20, and there will be no visible ratings. There you go with that. Now, the interlude season schedule. Here's how things will be looking. So March 1st to March 8th, you got the Great League and the Johto Cup. And before that, let me read this paragraph right here real quick. And the following list, leagues and cups that will take place on or before March 12th, We'll begin and end at 1 p.m. PST, 4 p.m. EST. And while those that occur on or after March 13th will begin and end at 1 p.m. PDT. Okay, there we go. Or 4 p.m. PDT. Because, you know, the daylight savings time fiasco. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. So, I already talked about what's going on March 1st to March 8th. March 8th to March 15th, we got Ultra League and Ultra Premier Classic. March 15th to March 22nd would be the Master Cup. And that one, you get triple Stardust from wins rewards. This does not include in a set rewards, by the way. And of course, the Love Cup, we get that bonus as well. March 22nd to March 29th, you'll get the Great League and Little Jungle Cup. March 29th to April 5th, if the Ultra League and the Catch Cup. And then April 15th to April 12th is the Master League and the Holler, the Halloween Cup, even though it's April. Okay, that's weird. And again, that. Triple Star does from Wind Rewards uh, effect will take place during that time as well. April 12th to April 19th, we got the Great League and the Little Cup. Not the Little Jungle Cup, but just the Little Cup. Okay. April 19th to April 26th, you get the Ultra Cup and the uh, Ultra League, excuse me, and the Retro Cup. And then April 26th to May 3rd, it would be the Master League and the Kanto Cup. And again, that Triple Star does fiasco will be there. May 3rd to May 10th, it would be the Great League and Flying Cup. May 10th to May 17th, it would be the Ultra League and Element Cup. May 17th to May 24th, it would be the Master League and the Master Premier Classic. Again, that triple Stardust fiasco would be going on. And May 24th to June 1st, all three leagues, Great League, Ultra League, and Master League would be going on. Time Research Ticket Battle. For most dedicated battlers, a Time Research Ticket will be available in the shop for free once the interlude season begins. This Time Research will keep track of your victories throughout the season. On research page, each research page gives me will require progressively more wins to complete. In doing so, we reward you with a small amount of stardust. Keep at it throughout the season to see how far you can get. Interesting. Interlude se season go battle days. So there's three go battle days. Starting this Saturday, March 5th. I will live, stri live stream this one starting at noon, by the way, on Twitch, by the way. 
A gold battle day featuring seal plus the return of two feature attacks for its evolution, Dugon. The maximum number of sets you can play per day will be increased from 5 to 20 for a total of 100 battles from midnight to 11.59 p.m. East Standard Time on Saturday. So the first win reward from the basic track will, will be a reward encounter, more than likely with seal. The second through fifth win rewards will remain unchanged. All wins require all win rewards from the premium track will be reward encounters. So, so there you go with that. So Dugon, if you evolve seal to get a Dugon, it will know the fast attack move Ice Shard. It will move know the charge attack move Icy Wind. And yes, seal can be shiny. And trainers who complete a set at any rank during the Go Battle Day will receive the Gladion Shoes Avatar item. Okay, that's interesting. Trainers who have already received the Gladion Shoe Avatar item from the rank training rewards will not receive another one. And then, of course, the following leagues will be after the Great League and the Johto League. And then we got another Go Battle Day. This will be on Sunday, April 20, uh, 17th for the same time frame. This is Beginner's Paradise. So that's going to be interesting. With the beginner-friendly Great League and Little Cup active, XP from time research available and an Avatar item up for grabs, there's never been a better time to try out the Go Battle League. So, again, 100 battles, 20 sets on that day. And then, of course, you would get a large amount of XP, and you would get the Guardians hoodie avatar if you complete a set at any rank during this Go Battle Day. And, of course, if you got there already, you can't get another one. And during that Go Battle Day, you got the Great League and the Little Cup. And then on Sunday, May 29th, you get the Mega Stardust Surprise Go Battle Day event. So now this one is going to be focused on Stardust. This is going to be the huge one right here. So check this out. Four times starters from win rewards in a mega surprise. I have no clue what that is. Trainers who complete a set at any rate during this gold battle day will receive the Gladion's Pants Avatar item. And if you have it already, then you can't get another pair. And of course, Master League, Ultra League, and Great League will be active during this time. And then of course, we got the season rewards where you can get Cloak back once you reach rank one. And if you reach rank 20, you will get Pikachu Libre, which can be shiny. It will not be available to will not be available to encounter during this season. Okay, so that's interesting. Now, moving on, the standard encounters. Here's everything listed. I'm not going to name them all there. You can just see for yourselves. Some of them can be shiny. Others cannot. So, there you go with that. Oh, and there's Rock Ruff. Okay, so that's interesting. Rock Ruff is right here. And, of course, you got this as well. So, that's interesting. And then, of course, you got the avatar items and other rewards. So, we're talking about the Gladion cuff earrings, the shoes, the pants, the hoodie, and the pose. I want the pose. The pose looks sick. At rank 19, you will earn an Elite Charge TM and an Elite Fast TM as well at the end of Season Reward area. They talk about the cups, which I cuffed, talked about already. You can look at them on your own time. Please be aware of your surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. Now we can look at exploration updates coming to Pokemon Go. So this was the first thing announced on February the 28th, which is when I dropped that video, my last video actually. A lot was going on on that day. Now... There's one thing that I want to talk about, and a lot of people on Twitter is talking about it, and that is this third paragraph right here. Everything else here I could care less about, even though they start off with the word trainers, and they talk about please bring around surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. This paragraph is the most important paragraph. This is the paragraph that I want to talk about. So check this out. With the, Okay, let's back up real quick. Uh, we keep, Okay, let's go back to the second paragraph. As mentioned in our previous dev diary, exploration is an important part of what makes Pokemon Go special, and we're always looking for ways to give trainers the opportunity to discover Pokemon in the real world. We keep this goal in mind constantly as we evaluate the game and its systems. With that in mind, now we get to the third paragraph. With that in mind, we want to give you a heads up on some adjustments that we're making, or that they made already today, March 1st. For the season of Alolan, We'll be increasing the number of extra daily free VA passes that trainers can receive. Additionally, the stationary incense bonus will be removed, but a new bonus that increases incense duration from 60 minutes to 90 minutes will take its place. So basically what this paragraph, this sentence right here, what this means is this. So you know how you're able to kick back and relax from home and you can just get like a spawn from an instant like every minute or so. Well, they removing that. They moving that now from every spawn per minute to every spawn per five minutes. But the instance will last for 60 to 90 days. 
It didn't require my readings anyway, even though I read it already. Please be aware of your surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. So, that's everything involving the season of Alola. We got lots to talk about. So, we got new Pokemon. And two of those Pokemon can be shiny, which is good. But one of those Pokemon, you cannot get in the route, which is bad. You're going to get it from raids or from hatching eggs. Now, there is a, another way you can get it for free. Go Battle League. And that's a one-time deal, and it could be shiny. So, there you go with that. Fanfy is a, is a raid boss. I don't know how you feel about that. So, there you go then. Especially after the Johto fiasco. that I it, it was basically a man, the Johto event. I gave it a man. That's what I did in my last video. There you go with that. Now, in regards to the whole instant scenario, again, hit again. Now, I don't get this. I don't understand it. Now, I will admit, this is more of a Niantic decision as opposed to this being a Pokemon company decision. But I'm not going to completely rule them off and give them a pass and say, oh, they can't do no wrong. No, screw that nonsense. Um, but I'm going to say the majority of this blame is on Niantic's shoulders because it turns out getting out and go, that's more their style or more their ammo or ammo pretty much but there's two things wrong with this scenario one and then i want to bring something else in that i read in that last thing that i read to you guys and that is this one we get two regular raid passes for that per day right now it didn't explain in that piece how to get those but i can already tell you how you got to get those even though I didn't do this, but this is common sense. If you play the game for as long as I have, you should know how this works. In order for you to get your two free regular raid passes for day, you get your first one, you have to use it right there on the spot. And then you spend another photo disc at a gym to get your second one. It's not like you can get your first one and then spend another one, get your second one, and now you have two on you. No, that's not how it works. That's not how Niantic set it up. You have to get your first one, use it, and then go to another gym or wait five minutes to spend that same gym to get your second one. I'm dead serious. That's how they're going to do it. Now, if they do stack them up, great. I was wrong. But I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. So, there's that. Which brings up this other point. So, if we got to go out and get these free raid passes... Why are remote raid passes still a thing? Now, I'm not complaining. I have no issues with it, but if they really wanted to go out and go that badly, why are remote raid passes still a thing? Well, I could just stay at home and do raids. Why is that a thing? Because that's an easy cast cow. That's right. So this whole, oh, we want you to go out and explore is so hypocritical. It's really, really hypocritical because of the whole remote raid passes still being a thing. It's so hypocritical. So, which brings me to the other point. Again, I said this a long time ago. I'm going to say it right now. In Niantic, the Pokemon Company, Game Freak, whoever else is involved with the creation of Pokemon Go and running Pokemon Go, again, I, I, I don't like speaking for people, but I think I speak for pretty much every single trainer when I say the following. I don't need you to tell me to go out and play this game. If I'm going to go out and play this game, it's because I want to. I should not have to be forced to go out and play this game. That should not be the case. But yet, whoever is responsible for that, Niantic, Pokemon Company, Game Freak, Nintendo, whoever else is involved, you guys are trying to force me and others to go out and play this game. Because even though the pandemic is is it is it dying down yeah but is it completely gone no it's still out there and imagine you guys trying to tell people out in the uh ukraine and russia yeah go out and play this game because you got to now yeah that won't go all that well i'm it really really won't so let's be real one or two things will happen because of you guys whoever's responsible trying to force the trainers the Pokemon Go community to go out and play this game. One, they still won't do it. And or two, they just won't play the game. They just won't play the game. Now, where do I stand on this? Now, again, I don't like this idea because 
and I said this before, but I'll say it again. I don't have the time to go out and play this game because I gotta work. I gotta sleep. I gotta eat. I gotta live stream. I gotta work on music. I gotta watch anime. I gotta watch wrestling. I gotta watch sports. I gotta hang with family. I gotta hang with friends. I gotta do this. I gotta do adulting. I gotta pay bills. I got a lot of stuff to do, and yet you guys want to force me to go out and play Pokemon Go instead of me staying at home doing all this other stuff and playing Pokemon Go at the same time. It, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. The stationary incense bonus needs to be on there for life. It needs to be on there for life. Because again, it don't matter what you guys do. It don't matter what your incentive, your, your incentive is for us. We get to choose what we want to do. Not you guys. That's us. If we want to go out and play the game, we will go out and play the game. If we want to stay home and play the game, we're going to stay home and play the game. We don't need to be forced to go out and play the game because that's what y'all doing. Y'all trying to force us to go out and play the game. And y'all need to cut that out. Y'all need to cut that out. Now, me personally, I talked about how I feel about it, but do I? will I at some point go out and play the game? Yeah, matter of fact, the day this video dropped, I got early passes to Autorama. So I would be down there today, but I would be blogging there, which means I would be out and playing the game. And of course, March is coming up, which means, when well March is here, which means spring is coming up. So I want to go out and blog more. So and, and here's the thing, like these past few months, I've been here doing a lot of these videos. Like the majority of my videos over the past few months has been here. I want to go out and vlog. So which means I have to go out and play the game, but not because of you guys and your stupid changes and your stupid incentives is because I want to do that. I want to go out and play the game. So I'm gonna do what I want to do. And if that's going out and play the game, okay, cool. I'm doing what y'all want me to do, but at the same time, I'm doing what I want to do. But if I am feel like, you know what, I'm gonna just stay home and play the game. I'm gonna stay home to play the game. I don't care about your incentives. So, bottom line is this, you should not be forcing the Pokemon Go communities what to do. Niantic, Pokemon Company, Game Freak, Nintendo, whoever else is involved with Pokemon Go, y'all need to cut that out. And that's all I'm gonna say about that, and I'm gonna call it a wrap. So with all that said, y'all know what this is, this boy New Jack Gatsby, aka New Stupid Nate Smith, saying peace out y'all, and I'll see y'all next time, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Sure. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Now they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm gonna hit and move away.